In the last 10 years, a racehorse named Lexington has had quite a run. He's made a long-awaited return to his hometown and a place of honor in the International Museum of the Horse at the Kentucky Horse Park. And, as a horse of a different color, he's become the official symbol of the city that shares his name. Not bad for a horse whose glory days were more than 160 years ago. Lexington was the most famous thoroughbred in the country in the 1800s. He was such a celebrity that three years after his death, he was dug up and put on exhibit at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C., which is where he'd remain. I don't think it ever left our mind that, you know, wouldn't this be wonderful if we could get him back down here? And Lucy Breathitt, the wife of Ned Breathitt, had an awful lot of to do with that initial probe. It was 1982 or 1983. I think she brought it to our attention that he was in storage at that point. We were writing letters back and forth to see if there was any possibility to bring him back home. And, uh, you know, eventually that kind of stalled out. It seems like about 10 years after that, the subject came up again. and. We tried again, and uh, basically with the same result. It just never happened. When we became an affiliate museum of the Smithsonian, the first thing we brought up the first time we went to Washington was, gosh, you know, we'd sure like to see if there's any interest in maybe having Lexington come back to Lexington. So that, that began the process, which took about another two or three years, I think. <laughs> Finally got the right combination of buttons, and we were informed that Lexington was not going to go back into the exhibit and that we could go ahead and proceed with arranging for a loan here if he was able to travel. And that was going to take some pretty serious inspection by conservators to make sure that uh, fragile bones would would make the trip but luckily they did and he arrived here in time for the world equestrian games we were thrilled the response i mean has been wonderful i would think that only people who have a, a real interest in not only thoroughbred racing but the history of thoroughbred racing really know much about lexington uh, he was bred by a man named uh, Dr. Elijah Warfield, who had moved from Maryland to study medicine at Transylvania University in the city of Lexington. Lexington was a son of the horse Boston, which uh, was named for a card game, not a city. <laughs> and the mayor was Alice Carneal, and Lexington was foal in 1850. His first start was at the Kentucky Association track. In the era that Lexington was racing, there were still a great many races presented in heats, and that would be uh, he would run four miles, you know, be groomed, rest for an hour maybe, come back, do it again. And over the two years, he won six of his seven races. His only defeat came uh, to a horse called Le Compte, which he then avenged. One race, uh, they, they, Le Compte was not ready, uh, not healthy enough to run, so they just said, okay, we will send Lexington out, uh, and uh, his, his mission will be to beat the four mile time record that LeCompte had established. So that was one of the races that he won was usually a race against time. He had become uh, blind in one eye. His vision in his other eye was, was fading too. So he was retired to stud. He wound up being the leading star 14 times in a row based on race course earnings by his progeny. He was the leading sire each year from 1861 through 1874 and then again uh, in both in uh, 1876 and 1878. And no stallion anywhere in the world has ever matched that. In North America, the longest uh, run of leading sire other than Lexington was Bold Ruler, who was a leading sire for seven years in a row and a total of eight years. Uh, Lexington was 14 in a row and a total of 16 with the two additional years later on. His offspring, won over 1,100 races and earned over $1.1 million, which in those days was, uh, was remarkable. 
Now, his, as glorious as his stunt career was, it was uh, not as good as it could have been had it not coincided with the outbreak of the Civil War. Lexington was really a, a remarkable animal and a, a bellwether horse of the 19th century. You have this, this incredible horse on the track and then what he did in the stud barn was even more incredible. Asteroid, Norfolk, Kentucky, Daniel Boone, just this incredible list of, of really, really fine sons and daughters that pretty much dominated the tracks and later the, the stallion barns uh, of America for probably 50 years. I think you can safely say that he was a reason, if not the reason, that Kentucky kind of regained its prominence as a thoroughbred breeding center. Lexington today is Lexington today because of Lexington the horse in the 19th century. For many years, we did operate as the Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau. It's a mouthful, and we decided that it might be easier for us to shorten our name to Visit Lex. When we changed our name, we wanted to make sure our brand is iconic and memorable. It didn't take long to recall a very famous painting by Edward Troy of um, the famous racehorse, Lexington. You know, back when racing really was the national sport, he was the icon, he was the, the big athlete. We thought this would be so fantastic if we could take this actual portrait and work with it. The uh, New York Jockey Club owned the rights to the Edward Troy painting and we reached out with, to them and they were very willing to work with us. We have actually trademarked that portrait, but with the Blue Horse version. We have had so much fun with the Blue Horse. We refer to Big Lex as our mascot. It's not too often that destinations get to have personalities. And so when you have an animal as your mascot, you can, you can really play with it and have fun. I think Big Lex is a fabulous ambassador for the city of Lexington. We want the visitors to love the Blue Horse, but we also want locals to feel like it, the Blue Horse is theirs as well. We want them to have pride in, in seeing that Blue Horse. It's so symbolic of such an important story and obviously such an iconic horse. We want to do it justice.